Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started on this appendix chapter, homework number three. All right, write a simplified algebraic expression for each expression map below. Okay, so now we haven't really been working on algebra tiles, but I'm sure you can still figure this out and we'll talk about it. Okay, so looking at A right there, number 30A. Still lagging a little bit. Right, if you look at this, there's one white, which is actually over here, it tells you that's equal to negative. So the white one is actually a negative. So anything that's white is actually considered negative. All right, so right here we have two, because that's those two right there. That's two plus, and then you have an X, and then plus another X. So that's two X. And then we do have a minus one. All right. That's what that little red one. But down here, you see how it says it's a minus? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take away. And what are we taking away? Well, we're taking away these two, which is a positive two. Okay, so together, what happens? Well, you know, we have two plus, actually, let's do this. Right? We can put together. Not put together. We can combine because, you know, that two blocks and that negative one block. So you think about it up here. You look at what we have up there, right? This one positive block and a negative block, that makes zero. Okay, that's how you, that's how we did on the warm-up. That's how you make a zero. So what's left over is just a one, just like how we have here, two Minus one just makes one. So that just makes one. And then we still have the two X's. Right? And then these two positives actually become negative. So it'd be minus two. All right? So these two positive uh, down here now becomes negative. And if you think about this, now one of these positives is going to combine with one of the negatives. Okay, and that's what we have right here. One positive combined with one of the negatives from the two negatives. And you're left with just one negative. So your final answer, 2x, and then you're left with just one negative. Oh, you know what? We don't even have to do all that. It just says write it. Oh, simplify. So, yes, we have to go through all that. Okay? So, let's see what this makes. So, that's, we have three positive ones, one positive X, one negative X, and one negative negative one. So, minus a, and then that white block is a negative one. Okay. So putting it all together, you see these two right here? Positive X and negative X. That's these right here. Negative X and positive X. They will combine to be zero. So those just kind of go away. And the opposite of a negative down here. This opposite of a negative is a positive. So just how we have here, opposite of a negative one is actually positive one. And the answer is just four. Okay, this one right here, we have a big X squared block, two negatives, so it'll be negative two. And then we're gonna, then down here it says we're gonna take away, what are we taking away? We're taking away a Y, positive Y, and a positive two. And we take away a y, that, mean, that means it's going to be a opposite of a y, which is going to be a negative y. And if we take away 2, then that means it's going to be a negative 2. Okay, kind of like how we have in the picture. Okay, the rest of it, I'm just going to copy it down. And the only thing you can put together is this negative 2. Because right now, remember, this is positive, but because we're taking away positives, which means that we're going to end up with negative. So we actually have two negatives, and we actually have two more negatives, which is 
what we see right here, two, negative 2 and another negative 2. So total, we have a negative 4. I'll put it way in the back. Okay, but what else do we have? Well, we have that x squared by itself. And that positive y, but now it's negative. So it's actually a negative y now. And you can see it right here. So positive x squared minus y and then minus 4. So these are your answers. Okay, so I'm going to find the following expressions by combining like terms. If possible, algebra tiles may be helpful. Okay, so you want to use algebra tiles? Try it first and come back. But I'm going to go ahead and combine all the like terms. Okay, so x, another plus x, another plus 2x, and a minus x. So if I count all of these, that's a. If the x plus x is going to be two x's, plus two more is going to be three four x's minus x. So four x's minus x is going to be three x. And then I also have a minus three. So that's all by itself. And I also have a positive four x squared. Let's see, 8x squared, and I'm just randomly starting with this, minus 13x squared. So 8x squared minus 13x squared is going to be negative 5x squared. Negative 5 plus 10x squared is going to be positive 5. And that's about all. So we have 5x squared. Okay, x's, we have plus 3x minus 25 x's so positive 3 and minus and negative 25 makes negative 22 and then take away one more and then so you're back up to negative 23 x's so minus 23 x c 4 x so nothing else has 4x, so that's all we have. And then we have plus 3y. Anything else with 3y? Nope. So that's all we got. That's the best we got. Can't do anything else with that. Yeah, which is the same thing. Lastly, I'm going to start with the numbers. So I'm going to go with 20 minus 3. That's uh, 17 plus 10. That's 17 plus 10, right? So that's 27. Okay, then when you look at just, um, let's look at all the y squares. So we have a positive 4y squared and minus 2y squared. So 4y squared minus 2y squared. So 4 minus 2 is 2. It's a positive 2y squared. And then this plus 3xy. Anything else with 3? Anything else with xy? Nope. So it's going to be plus 3xy. Okay. Those are your answers for number 31. Oh, there's 4 today. Okay. So evaluate these for the given x's and y's. So a... We have 6 over x plus 9, right? But instead of x, instead of x, instead of x, you can use 3. So instead of x, I'm going to use 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 plus 9 is 7. B. Okay. We have a negative x squared. And plus y. So instead of x, instead of x, I'm going to use 2. So instead of x, I'm going to use 2 squared. Okay, this is actually like this first. And then 
plus y, and instead of y, instead of y, instead of y, I'm going to use 1. So instead of y, I'm going to use 1. So this makes negative, and then 2 squares 4 plus 1, which makes negative 3. Use the calculator if you need it. C, negative 2, x times y. And again, instead of x, I'm gonna, instead of x, I'm going to use 5. So 2 times 5 times y, whatever y is. And instead of y, instead of y, I'm going to use negative 3. So instead of y, I'm going to use negative 3. So this is negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 times negative 3, which makes positive 30. D, <clears throat> 2 times x squared minus y. Again, instead of x, instead of x, I'm going to use negative 3. So instead of x, I'm going to use negative 3. And instead of y, instead of minus y, Instead of y, I'm going to use 8. So minus 8. So 2 times negative 3 squared is going to give me 9 minus 8. 2 times 9 is 18 minus 8. 18 minus 8 gives me 10. So here are my answers. 7, negative 3, 30, 10. Okay, use legal moves to determine which side of the equation, the expression ex comparison mat is greater. Okay, so let's look. Let's count all the stuff. Okay, so we have one. Right, but if we take away a negative, it means positive, and take away negative means positive. So we actually have three. On the left side okay and we have three negatives and if you take away a positive you get a negative 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 because these are all positives all of these are positives but if we take away the positive they become negative so that's how many negatives one two three four five six seven so three and negative seven so on the left side, okay, on the left side we have uh, negative four, right? That's what three minus seven is. Okay, let's look on the right side. On the right side we have how many positives? One, two, three, four, and then down here they're all positive, but I, I need to take away those, so those are not going to be positive anymore. So I only have four. I have a negative on top, and these, because I'm taking away these positives, they will become negatives. So that also, four. And four minus four is zero. So which side is greater? I say the, le the right hand side. Right side is greater. What is this one down below? Here's the middle right here. Okay, so let's look at positives or negatives, it doesn't matter, but we got one, two, positive, and then these two are also positive, but then they're opposite, which means that they're going to become negative. So all we have is two. Negatives, we got one, two, three, four negatives, and these two are going to be the opposite. So opposite of positive is negative. So we get a total of six negatives. So two minus six is going to give you negative four. Okay, on the right-hand side, one, two, three, four. Okay, four positives. And these two are positive also, but then they're opposite, so they're going to become negative. 
So we have four positives, one, two negative, and then these two are positive, but because they are negative, they become negative. So you also get four negatives. Okay, so which means you get zero. Yep. So again, the right side is greater. It's the right side. Both right sides are greater. Okay, because zero is bigger than negative four. And it's 